morning guys it's opening day iowa's gun season things are fixing to get wild today i think i see another headlamp over there good grief there's a lot of people in here i don't know if y'all watched last year's videos from iowa gun season or not it was pretty much the most wild day of hunting i ever had on opening day i saw a pile of hunters i almost got shot and then eventually moved around found a little pocket that wasn't getting hunted and saw like 30 plus deer it was just an insane insane day of hunting but I'm going way back in here. I got here super early this morning, but there were still two or three other trucks at the parking lot pulling in before I left. Talked to a couple of guys from Michigan up there. I'm gonna cross this creek, try to get back in here away from some of these people. Get set up before daylight along the edge of a bedding area and see if I can catch some deer getting pushed in there throughout the day. Stand at is it on the east side of that stuff or the thick bedding stuff? Yeah, yeah, it's just the side of it. Yeah, 60 yards, maybe 50 yards, right out in the edge of the river bottom. There, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to set up right on top of you. You, I mean, I'm up in that tree, big old tree stand, so you should be able to see me, but okay. Well, I mean, I got all my stuff with me on my back, so I can move around while you go on back here. I might swing around that little drainage to the other side of that bedding area. Okay. But I won't set up anywhere where I'm going to shoot you. I know right where you're. Yeah. Right where you're going to be. It's a really good spot. Is it? Oh yeah. I'm yeah. from Michigan. Okay. It's my first year here, and I was just on the map. It's all guessing game for me. Nah, I mean I get to hunt here every year, so you go right ahead. But yeah, you better get back there. Good luck. Good luck to you. To you. As soon as I crossed the river, I looked behind me and there was another guy walking in. He crossed the river, got up here. It turns out he's from Michigan. He's waited a couple years to draw a tag and I asked him where he was going and he pointed right back there to the bedding area that I was going to hunt. He seemed pretty adamant about hunting that spot, so there's no point in me walking back there and setting up right there and then having him come in and set up right on top of me. As we were talking, I looked across the meadow here and there's a green headlamp coming through the woods on the other side off the private land, so it is busy back here this morning. I may have to move around and find a different spot here. I made it like three or four miles from that original spot and I've seen like 30 deer and three or four really big bucks all of them on private land a couple of them were limping really bad like they'd been injured probably fighting during the rut or just wore down from the rut or somebody shot them or something but I didn't know what to do this morning with that guy that came in there I wish in that situation we could have talked about it up at the parking lot and kind of ironed things out I think it would have made it a lot easier for me anyway because I'd have known exactly where he was going and I'd have probably got out of there sooner. I might have been able to find a spot to set up here before first light, but, and I get to hunt here all the time. I get to hunt a lot more than the average person. So I figured it'd be best just to let that guy have the spot. I'm sure everybody's got their own opinions on what they would do in that situation. It's public land. Luckily we have a lot of it around here and I can just hop in the truck and go down the road and probably find another spot. Who knows, might even get into some more deer. I've already seen a pile of them this morning. I wish I could hunt on some of this ground. Good grief.
back to this spot though. I'm gonna start fresh tomorrow. I got my butt kicked yesterday out here by myself, but I got Greg this morning for reinforcements. I haven't shot anything with this muzzle loader yet. I bought it last year thinking like, it's just gonna be a deer killing machine. And I've gun hunted like 20 times with it and I haven't killed anything <laughs> between Iowa and Missouri. Let's go. Yep, we got company in here this morning too. I don't know where this guy came from because there's nobody at the parking lot. He either had to have come from a different parking lot or from the private. We're going back. We were going up there, but since you're up there, we're going to go back. You guys filming? Yeah. What, what, what show is this? The Hunting Public. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Levi. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Nice to meet you guys. You as well. Yeah. Nice. I want one of those. I've yeah. been looking to get one of those for a while. They say the 450 Bushmasters are nice too, but this was more for that shield. So. Sure. Yeah, we got three does yesterday. I got one over there, and then my father in law got two. Each other again sometime. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hopefully, you guys nice get up here and get a buck. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Meet you. They've got it covered. It sounds like they got two guys up there where I was wanting to set up and then another guy down here. I would have never came in here if I had known they were in here. They came, they all came off private. That's why I didn't know. Just got to keep moving. Got to reset. Find something else here. That's gun season on public here. That's gun season on public. Yes. We just got to find one of those little thickets back in there. It's not getting hunted. Because you heard what he said. Yesterday, those guys pushed all that around mm. there, but they didn't push through that real, real thick stuff because you can't hardly walk through. Here comes the army. Oh, yeah. They got the whole crew with them. You know the deal. Which is good. I keep deer up and stirred around here. I think we're just going to grab our gear and go. We didn't see anybody down there at first light. All the way down that road, there's like four or five parking lots down there where you can go hunt public. Now, in the last 10 minutes, there's been three vehicles go down there and everybody, I mean, you can see all the orange people packed in there. So things could be getting interesting in here in about 30 minutes. We got ourselves right in the middle of it. Thing is, just watch where they go and then go like it. If they push this and they don't go up there, mm -hmm. then we're going to slide right up. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Yeah. Because that stuff up there is really, really thick. But I don't want to go up there until they start pushing and we see where they're going to go. Oh, there's a guy over there. Uh, he might just be standing. He's way over there. That's what I want to see about because there's an island. I don't think they are. Over there, there's a guy over here. There's a buck, big buck, Greg. Oh yeah, nice, nice buck. See where the curve of the water is? Straight through, see where that tall like willows are? Go straight to the left of them, about 30 yards. You see his rack in there moving. See it? Sunlight hitting it. Nice buck. Hunters all around this thing. He's just out there in the middle of that big crap. Right where you'd expect one to be. He's walking left down the edge of the water. We don't have great wind for it though. Little buck, Greg.
text me. He's like, I don't know about this, but I need to go over here to not die. <laughs> Those guys aren't moving yet. But I'm assuming that they're all coordinating. When they walk, I mean, they haul the mail. They put that gun way up high like this and they just gone. <laughs> this guy's going to run a deer down there by these other guys, I would think. shooting when I have to go back up there and clean my gun and reload it. shooting him kind of but he seems to be getting along all right <laughs> I would have shot him but I don't have all I was telling Greg I don't have all my stuff to clean my gun like every time you shoot muzzle loader you need to clean it before you reload it if you want to you know maintain accuracy I wouldn't want to continue hunting with a dirty loaded gun I guess man I gotta get a 4570 because I, I would have just blasted him <laughs> that at that's up in that block right there me and Greg have been standing here for a while now just kind of waiting to see how the orange army decides to attack this today we got one guy that's walked all the way through and went up over the hill and these two guys that are across from us have split up and now one of them is walking to the north looks like he's gonna make some sort of small push to his buddy got a really good crossing right here which is a perfect escape route for these deer coming out of there I mean that's where we watched that buck bust his butt this morning the rules say that you're not allowed to shoot across a waterway with a rifle but I texted our game warden and asked him and I'm waiting for him to reply back I'm sure he's got his hands full <laughs> this weekend so I may not hear from him for a while but I'm, I'm not going to shoot at a deer across that water I can shoot them once they make their way over here, then I know we're, we're good to go. We've got deer bedded out here in this thick stuff, including a nice buck, but that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting to see where all these guys are gonna push today, and wherever they don't end up, there's gonna be bucks in there, for sure. And you might be wondering why we're just not going after them, but the wind is dead wrong right here. And once you get down in that thick stuff, it's head high. So we're just kinda letting the morning play out here and they start doing pushes. That's why you're hearing all the shots right now. We haven't heard any shooting all morning, which is typical from what we've seen second day of gun season. They get, the deer get run around like crazy on the first day because up until that point, they were moving pretty naturally. But by the second day, they've been run around so much that they, and they're all in these really thick pockets of cover, which is what we've seen this morning where there's no hunters and they're not leaving those areas. They're not moving around a bunch. It's, it's like a game of chess. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> he walked up there until it got too thick and then he just yelled in the middle of it. If you don't walk in there, you're not gonna get him up. You're not gonna leave. <laughs> like I don't think I don't think so anyway. That buck probably just laying down there. I don't think you would have smelled him going through there that quick. But maybe. I hate leaving a nice buck like that. Especially when we know he's right there. He's supposed to be northwest or north northwest this afternoon.
that's where he's at. into this brushy bottom where we saw that big buck this morning. And me and Greg have been trying to finagle a setup in here, but the wind is just very iffy. I mean, right now, I don't think it's blowing to where he's bedded at, but it's very, very iffy. It's, I mean, we're cutting it really close. And as we were looking for a place to set up, some guys came in off private here to the north and started pushing this stuff to the north of us and just ran three bucks right by us. They didn't even stop and look at us or anything. <laughs> We're just standing next to this dead tree. It just blitz through there, man. Oh, three bucks just ran where we saw that big one this morning. Just don't think that a mature buck is going to end up out here in front of us in this wide open during daylight today. Not with all the commotion going on up in here. Could be wrong, but I'm down anyway. Make me feel better.
think there's a big box, a big box behind. See it? He's a little crawling. I can't. I don't like looking at it in this scope with those guys back here. shoot at those guys. Is he going behind the willows? Is he going to come in front of him? I got a ground tape with me. I think I should go at him. Jeez. Are they shooting at him? He is shooting at him. Yeah. Good grief. Might just be patient. He might come out here in front of us. I don't know why the heck he would go that way. How far of a shot for them was that? He was pointing the gun right towards
Dropped him. Dropped him? Dropped him. Are you sure? Positive. Craig, are you sure? Positive. He fell right over? Yes. All right. Straight down. <gasps> I've never shot a deer that far in my whole life. He dropped straight down. I just know you can. This body shot sometimes you can just shock him. Right. Well, real, real high hits. You can just shock him and get back up. But... Oh, I'm shaking bad. It's the furthest yeah. I've ever shot deer in my life. I mean, this gun season stuff has worn me out. We hung in here on them all day with hunters just all around us everywhere. The only place where there was no hunters today is right where that buck was. And he came out of there just perfect, we, but we had to hedge the wind. I mean, ideally we'd have been 100 yards up there and we'd have just killed him at 40 steps when he walked out. But yeah. our wind is cutting back like this. We can only get this close to him. And I couldn't shoot him. That was my, my best option to shoot him was right there. I'd ranged that spot several times, but those guys are on that hill um, gutting a deer and I didn't want to shoot towards them. So I let them walk through there. Then those guys saw him and took a crack shot at him from that opposite side. Who even knows how far away that was. It alerted the deer. They stopped in those willows forever. And then they eventually came back out and I ranged the doe in front of him and I kept, I got the crosshairs on him and they were just too shaky. I got them on him again and they were just too shaky. Like I was, my heart was pounding, I'm freezing. So I'm shaking like crazy. Finally, I took a deep breath and I got him to kind of settle down a little bit when I shot. Yeah, that was awesome, man. That was, let's go. That was fun. Let's that go look at him. There's his white belly, Greg. <laughs> Real nice buck. <laughs> Real cool deer, dude. Oh, man. Check this out. Look at that. <laughs> Big gnarly looking thing coming off this side. Kind of a funky that brow awesome. over here. Well, boy, his lip curling. He was. Several times. He was chasing those does around, man. That's definitely the buck I saw this morning. That's a fun day of Iowa gun season right there. <laughs> It's cool to get to experience yeah, the that's different totally. styles of hunting, different aspects of hunting. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's Gun season rolls around. It to totally resets everything. I mean, there's so many people out here in gun season. We watched them push all 360 degrees all the way around this thing today. This is the only spot where they weren't pushing. I thought, I thought it was all over with when he walked through that opening with those does and walked behind these willows. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. like, well, that's it. We're not going to get a chance at him. I couldn't shoot though because those guys were back there. Yep. And then they fired at him. And they had to have been 400 yards from him. Yeah, we can measure it on on X, but it had to be some crazy, ridiculous shot. You know, man. <laughs> yes. Gun buck. Zinger and Ben got one yesterday. And me and the old Gregster got one today. The old gun bowl. Old gun bowl. Last yes. time we were here with a buck on the ground, we had beard sickles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was just negative crazy 10. Cold. Probably the here. coldest hunt I've ever been on. Yeah, it was freezing, frigid cold. Heck yeah. Spot's been good to us. Spot has been very good. We just hung with them today. Eventually got our chance. <laughs> and that's cool. What's up, guys? It's the next morning. We got this buck out of the woods last night pretty late, it, but it was nice and cool, so he should be good to go. I went ahead and called Greg one of our local DNR employees that works just down the road. And he's gonna come out and sample this thing for CWD testing. It's real important no matter where you're at, if your state department is doing testing for CWD to participate in their studies and help them out as much as possible. These guys are working their butts off trying to manage public land around here so we can go deer hunting, turkey hunting, duck hunting, whatever else. And now they're also trying to sample a bunch of these things to make sure we can get spread a CWD under control. Well guys, got the deer taken care of. Really appreciate y'all watching this video. If you wanna learn more about hunting deer in Iowa, just go down below. We'll have a little link down there where you can go and get all the information that you need. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in. Hope to see you again here in the next couple days with another video. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one.